All right, here are five things you know to get you ready to start your day. Maine State Police say more charges are expected to be filed against the suspects of Saturday's shooting in Wells. 19-year-old Andrew Hubert Young accused of shooting three people, killing one of them. Two-year-old Octavia Hubert Young died from her injuries. Two other men were also sent to the hospital with gunshot wounds. Police have not yet said exactly how or if the suspect and his victims are related. Jury selection starts today in the trial of a man accused of fatally shooting three people, injuring a fourth. Thomas Bonfanti is facing murder charges for shooting at homes at Machi in Machias and Jonesboro. This happened more than two years ago. He was originally going to be tried in Machias, but his lawyers argued that publicity around the case would make it hard to find an impartial jury. So the trial will now be held in Belfast. Jury selection starts this morning at 8.30. The trial of a man from Buxton accused of violent threats against Jewish people also starting today. Federal agents say Brian Dennison, who lives in Buxton, tweeted he was going to, quote, kill Jews with an AR-15. This happened back in September. Dennison has pleaded not guilty. His attorney filed a motion asking to question jurors about whether or not they can remain objective after hearing about last week's deadly shooting in Buffalo, New York. We could learn more about the future and what it holds for the chancellor of the University of Maine system later today. Trustees are discussing Chancellor Daniel Malloy during a regularly scheduled meeting. Faculty at UMaine Machias, USM, UMaine Farmington and UMaine Augusta have all indicated they no longer support the chancellor. Malloy has come under fire for budget and staff cuts along with the way he's been handling hiring other leaders within the UMaine system. And Maine Senator Angus King is calling on Congress to increase funding for national parks. He's joining a representative out of Colorado to drum up support in both the House and Senate. Lawmakers say there's a $21 billion backlog in deferred maintenance and repairs, and that needs to be addressed. So does today's forecast, and Todd's going to do it one more time. It's going to be a pretty nice one. Uh, the humidity is kind of scouring out right now. Temperature is still reasonably mild, and we'll see that sunshine highs in the upper 60s. It does turn a little cooler for Tuesday and Wednesday. Overnight lows in the 40s, daytime highs around 65. And then the end of the week, the muggy air flows back in here. Our chances for showers spike again Friday, Friday night, and probably into Saturday too. But it will be on the mild side, especially away from the coastline later in the week. All right, on the off chance, two and a half hours of Todd and I was on enough. We'll be back throughout the Today <laughs> Show with your updates. Have a good Monday, everybody. See you later.